Hello everyone, in this video we will learn to install R for Power BI. Power BI gives us the capability to, to leverage R visuals and we need to install R executables before we can leverage the R visuals. So in this video we will just learn how to install R. And I've got a couple of sites open so I'll get the R executable from here. I will download R Studio, which is uh, like an IDE for writing R. And then I've got a sample dashboard, which I will use to test if or whether my R uh, has installed correctly. So I've downloaded the R executable. I've downloaded the executable for R Studio, and I've also downloaded the dashboard. I'll show you the dashboard. So this on this dashboard, I'm getting an error. I click on this. This is actually, it says the R installation was not found. So we'll install R. Another way to check is you can go on to file and then you can go to options and settings and options. And you go to R scripting and you see here, it doesn't point to any R directory, which means we don't have R installed. So let me start by installing R executable. I'll just right click on this and run this I'm okay with this location so I'll just click next I'll install both 32 and 64 bits I will accept the defaults go next I don't want a desktop icon, so I'll just uncheck this and then I'll go next. And R starts installing. It's a pretty straightforward process and there's not much that I need to do. So R has installed on my machine. I'll just click finish. And I'll now just install R Studio. Click next. And just install it. So we've got the R Studio installed. I'll just click finish and I'll open R Studio. And once we have R Studio open, what I would like to show is we'll just install the package. So as you can see, it's using the core plot package. And even though you've installed R, you'll still need to install the package used by the dashboard. So there are a couple of ways. You can go to tools and click on install package and just type in the name. So just type and once you've got this, you can just click on install and what it will internally do is it will just send that command to the command prompt. So as you can see, it just or you can also type in the same command on the console and install the package. So the package has been successfully installed. We'll just go and refresh. And as you can see here, the R visuals become available to us. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video.